Craig, back to winning ways with five one win at home. Yeah, I think we were good for it. I think the the girls um, done their job first half, second half is a wee bit different. We played the conditions. Um, I thought I thought the girls done really well. Um, controlled the game, dominated the game. Two silly mistakes, gave away two met two penalties, and it's just defending for the wrong side of the game. And I think I'm saying penalties. I think there could have been a lot more penalties in the game, to be honest with you. But I was I was happy with how we played, especially first half. Second half, we were always in control and. I'm delighted we scored five goals, disappointed we didn't keep a clean sheet, but that's life. You must be pleased, as I say, back to winning ways. It was a kind of stuttering start to the year. Um, you know, Burramuir was just, it was unfortunate the way it went. Gartcairn last week, probably on another day we could have won, but you must be glad that it's, you know, back five goals, full dominant performance and control, and a wee bit more like the girls we know. Yeah, I think they were as ruthless as they can be. Um, don't get me wrong, there was a couple of wee chances we could have scored, but that's chances we've missed in previous weeks um, and we've, we've took them away to get today so no listen I'm, I'm happy with them in front of goal happy with them defensively they were, they were solid enough as it is I think we restricted Glasgow to the two penalties as well which is, is kudos to the team and the way they worked the way they pressed their aggression off the ball um, I think there was, there was some soft decisions in the game as well if I'm honest um, and we need to maybe have a wee look at them as a team as well how we're defending that but also need a wee bit of help for the referee in these situations but listen I'm, I'm happy with the girls happy with the performance and it was another difficult day weather was kind of similar to Gartcairn at one point um, you always think you're, you're hidden for the elements here and the motorway maybe protects you but it certainly does not so another day where it's torrential downpour and, and winds blown all over the place um, but I thought the girls managed it very well Two goals from early today I don't know if you can call it a drought I think probably quite happy with our return but by early Kane standards, a drought, but two goals today ends up. Yeah, you're spot on, it's no drought. Um, the same as any of the players, I think um, somebody said to me before about Abby having a drought. Abby's never had a drought. Um, she's still been scoring goals, but I think what you've got to look at with the players that, that score the goals, it's their work rate as well. I think overall, she was fantastic today, given the circumstance, um, which people probably won't know, but I think she was fantastic with her work rate. She played for the team, she was a real leader today, and she had a bit of character to go and take the second penalty. Um, good honour, it was a great great finish and the last one was just a cute wee finish just underneath the goalkeeper. So, deserved what she got out of the game, she put a lot into it and she got exactly what she deserved out of it. A few changes today, two of them were Hannah Cunningham and Olivia King, both coming in for their first starts, Hannah's full debut altogether and Hannah gets a goal, you must be pleased with the contribution of both of those girls and I suppose the other changes made. Absolutely and that's why they were brought in to challenge um, and I think they've, they've shown a good account of themselves today. I thought Olivia was so composed in midfield, real ball winner, um, started a lot of attacks for us, just breaking up the play and I think Hannah's a bit of a powerhouse in that left hand side and she's told me the goal came off her nose so she doesn't score many with her head to be honest with you, if at all. So no, I'm, I'm chuffed with the two of them, I thought the two of them were excellent, their attitude and application was spot on. And so was the girls that came in as well. I thought they were excellent once they came off the bench and, and knew that they had to make an impact in the game to, to kick on. Lastly, today was your 50th game in charge of the club. How do you look back at the, the half a century so far? Did I get a shirt like everybody else? <laughs> everybody seems to be getting handed stuff for games and all that. Um, I, I think it's it's been a good year and a half. Uh, thoroughly enjoying myself. Really happy with the group, uh, players and staff. So, listen, long may it continue and... I think we'll maybe look to finish the season as well as we can, but one game at a time. Next one will be 51, obviously. Um, but no, it's, I never knew that until you told me during the week. So it's nice. It's nice to, to have that. Nice to have that on record as well. And, and it was a good day to cap it off.